Hey, Craig. Let's get into some coffee talk. Hey, I love it. I love doing some coffee talk. Well, you know, talk about what? Dogs, daughters, whatever. It's coffee talk. Coffee talk. It's a coffee talk. <laughs> oh wow, that was loud. Did it get you? <laughs> aggressive. It did. It was a little aggressive. <laughs> it was a little bit. Craig, we you know, we we talk so much about sales and all this stuff. Mm. Uh, and then the buzzword is, you know, sales funnels and stuff. What is a funnel? What is this funnel stuff? You don't know, Mr. Jason. It's, it's, I'm going to do it again. This triangle, we were just talking about it, but it's, it's bringing, it's a method to the madness. Uh, you have leads, you have lists, you have all these things that you're doing in business and you want to drive, uh, drive it into your funnel. Right. And whether that's, uh, a telefunnel, whether that's a funnel online that you're driving traffic to, um, it's it's an organized sales pipeline that's going to whittle down a larger population down to, you know, more of a qualified suspect, qualified prospect, prospect gold sale, right? You're just going to whittle yep. it down, but it's breaking it into little compartments that you're able to really get insight into how you can improve at each step because as you improve you turn the little knobs and pull the levers and do all that you're going to eventually optimize that thing or get it closer to optimize i guess you're always going to be optimizing yeah it's crazy because a lot of times we want sales in our agencies and we do a lot of work Mm -hmm. right there's a lot of like hoping wishing guessing calling people but we haven't thought out what's the what is the process behind that like How do we measure and improve that? And it really comes down to having that sales funnel. And then most of the times, if if you're selling any kind of insurance that might be expensive, you you have to talk in person. So so some people have those sales funnels that can be online. um, But or they can be where they want that end result to be talking to someone so you can sell that high priced item. Or that, and then that would be a telefunnel. Uh, but you got to have some sort of funnel. You have to have a systematized process where you're not only, everybody says leads suck. You got to, what do you do with the leads? Oh, well, we call them. Well, what's the process? Like, what is the funnel? So you dump all the leads into this funnel. What is from day one, second one, what happens to that lead all the way to day 90? And beyond, I right? bet you, Mister Jason, if somebody says the leads suck, that they did not do that. No, because I don't think that a lot of people talk about sales funnels is being the process in which that happens. You talk a lot about salespeople. Oh, we got to find the right salesperson. Mm-hmm. Well, if you have the right process, all you need to do is take a hungry individual. Anybody that wants to that wants to make a difference, hustle or whatever, you just take that person and plug them into it, mm. and then you just dump leads into the funnel, and that person will be able to sell right. it. Right. It's it's easy to complain about the people and personalities that are at the office because you see that, but but yes. if that's happening, then there isn't a good process in place to drop them into, like you say, right? You, you, if, if you can't just drop somebody in, you're creating chaos because yeah. it's not going to be consistent and it's going to be done differently every single time. And so I would bet somebody buying leads for some amount of time, which is probably less amount of time than it really needs to be to fully vet them and see if they're good. And then they, they throw their hands up. They say, these leads suck. I bet you that each one of those leads was approached differently. Right. They, yep. they called three times on this one. They called one time on this one. Oops, we forgot to call this day because we got busy doing some other stuff. And so if you if there's no consistency, there is no way to vet whether or not something works or not. It's impossible. Right. And so what are all the touch points? There can be calls. Mm. There's got to be a certain amount, a number of calls 
on certain days that that gets done. There's also emails. There has to be a certain amount of emails mm -hmm. that gets that 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 at different times that touch on benefits of the policy. Yeah. Right. And those have to be dripped out. That dripping out means that there has to be some sort of system in which those get pushed to the client once yeah. they enter into your pipeline. There can be text messages. There has to be some sort of way that you're going to reach out and text them. There can be. Right. There's good. Some people. Yeah. Not for or even after you, maybe, maybe the, your sales process, you can't, you can't do that. And so you make those calls, you have those call sequences where you call them. And when you do get them on the phone, you opt them in for the text, and then you can um, you add go. that to the sales funnel. Yeah. But, but whatever it is, it's this process on which the lead comes into contact with your agency and all the different ways that you can contact and stay in contact with them and figuring out, writing it out writing out every single you know day what happens how that person gets touched by your from your agency uh in those different fashions right so the bottom line is there ha and there's a lot of software that can help with that and help organize that and keep your sales people organized with that mm -hmm. but there has to that is a sales funnel that is you and I like uh, telefunnels because we like to create that value because we sell expensive insurance policies. Yeah. Um, so that's a real, you know, we have that dialed out, like yeah. a ton a, t a process in which there's a ton of dials. There's a lot of follow-ups. If we don't talk to them, what happens? Like we know that. And it makes it very easy when you do that every single day, you know, if I buy this many leads, this is how much we sell. This yeah. is, I mean, it, it, it takes, that worry, that going into the office early, like, oh, we got to get sales. It takes that out of it, right? It takes the guesswork out, right? You know you, you have predictable results. And I know, we, you and I both know, okay, if 200 leads came in, well, likely 30 of them are going to be quoted, right? And of the 30 that are quoted, we're going to sell two or whatever that number is. But we have a specific data set of analytics that we know is going to happen based on the inputs that we put in there. We're going to have this output or this outcome. Also, with any of the leads, we could literally pick it in some 90-day time frame and, and see, okay, this lead went from here to here, and this is the touch points. And it's not that it's different with the next lead or the next lead or the next lead. Every single one of them, that same thing happens. And that's the only way, again, you can create that consistency for those predictable results. And if it's not happening, then you know, because this is the measurement part, right? The tracking and measuring, it's being tracked. Now you need to measure. So you're measuring and making sure that that is happening. And you know what? Sometimes it isn't, right? Like right. When, when my leads weren't getting delivered, and I know it's happened to you too, but it's like, why, what? we're not selling anything, you know, freaking out, starting, okay, one day, no problem, that happens. Two days, what's going on? Three days, uh-oh, the world's on fire. And, you you know, the first thing you want to do is blame everything that's probably the wrong thing. And it was. Like, yep. I was mad at the people. I'm mad. You know, and it's like, oh, wait a minute. We were only getting 100 leads, right? So we're getting a third of the volume that we're supposed to be getting. And so that's why it's so important to be watching. Got to watch these things every day and make sure that it's happening. Yep. And I, you know, talking about like the sales funnel, it goes back to all the processes. Do you have to have a process for everything? It takes the guesswork out. You know, yeah. there has to be a process for sales. There has to be some sales funnels. You want to make sure that there are consistent sales. If you're not growing, you're dying, right? You have to have something like that. Uh, you have to have a process for hiring. You have to have a process for um, processing an endorsement, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever it may be, you have to have some sort of process for it. Uh, but I think that the sales process seems to get pushed on the back burner. There are some, you know, we're always trying different ways to bring leads in. So yeah. we're changing it up and, you know, it, it becomes difficult to track and measure, uh, it becomes difficult to, see any results because we're always changing yeah isn't it funny though saying 
the lead sucks. I mean, what what makes a lead? A human on the phone has cars, right? And so right. isn't that what a lead is? Now we've right. gotten a hold of them. Now it comes down to what you were just talking about. Now it's that sales process. If you don't have that sales process, once you have human on the phone has cars, then it's not going to work. But why would I run around like a, like a, a hamster on a wheel trying to figure out where to find those things? I could find people that human has a car, has a phone number, get a hold of them. So why would I do any extra work to find that when <laughs> it's available? I can just pay for it. You know, pay two bucks, three bucks, four bucks, whatever. And that exists. Now it's a function of right. creating that sales process. That's it. That's it. It's so important. It's so important to have a process for everything. But sales funnels seem to be, they're very common in a lot of industries. But in insurance, it seems that we're, always busy helping people, right? Because that's what we do. Yeah. That that the sales funnel isn't completely built. So it might be a little wonky or telefunnel, whatever it may be for, for your agency. But, uh, you know, this is one thing that Craig and I are super passionate about. Yep. So we're actually starting a separate podcast because we don't want to continue this conversation every week. So we're going to be discussing a lot of the things that's working with us in our agencies, with our telefunnels and, 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 um, reaching out to, to clients on the phone yeah. and, and, uh, creating a crazy amount of sales. So we're going to create a separate podcast. Uh, just search all the same places where this is for teledudes. Um, it'll be the teledudes, uh, telemarketing telefunnels and, and we'll go deeper yeah. weekly on that one. Go deep. Narrow and deep. That's it. <laughs> that is it. That is it. <laughs> so, Craig, uh, tell me one thing. Where can everyone, uh, if anybody wants to text us, how can they get a hold of us? You and me personally. Oh, they can text us at our special line. I know the first six numbers. 520-214-2219. Uh -huh. Boom. Two, two, That's one, five, two, zero, two, one, five, four. two, zero, two, 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 one, nine. Yeah. That, that is, is great. It. So they can hit us. We will actually text you back. That's our direct yep. text, but it goes to both of us, Mr. Craig and Mr. Jason. Yep. And that's our little texting community. We'll keep you up to date. Uh, some positivity out there, throwing, throwing some tips, some, um, just shout outs, wishing you a happy day. Yeah. Gosh. Gosh. Just, it, it's just, all, we have some of our uh, favorite insurance dudes in there and we just all say hi. Yeah. Just saying hi. Keep a couple dudes keep us, being uh, happy. Couple dudes doing dudes. No. <laughs> what? Wait. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, this you're tired, Mr. is a coffee talk. I am it's coffee, tired. It's a coffee talk. We'll see you later. Hey, Jason. Yes, Mr. Craig. That was another awesome episode, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, if people want to get a little bit more action and, and learn how to do uh, write 100000 in premium yes. off of even the worst internet leads, where could they go? They can go to live.teledudes.com. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Are we going to be there? Yes. It's a weekly call that we're doing right now that will – it's live, and it will show you the process, the entire process. Mm. Super awesome. Mm. I love it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sign up right now, live.teledudes.com. Live.teledudes.com. That's live.teledudes.com. Hey, Craig, there's a new community that we are starting that I cannot wait to tell everybody about. It is our live texting community where you and I are going to answer people's questions and give them free content, right? Are you kidding me? We get yep. to talk to them? Yeah, which is awesome, but they have to opt in. They have to text us at 520-214-2219. That's 520 
214-2219. Nice. I'm Craig, are you going to respond to these texts? I'm going to respond to them for sure. Live. I'm into it, too. It's going to be well, awesome. And it's a, it's going to be our new texting community where we're going to get back to everybody that we can and drop some crazy content, free content, and free um, the calculator that you just came up with. Mm. That's right. The calling calculator. Sales material. I mean, everything for insurance agents, this is it. It's the best texting community out there for insurance agents. Well, what the heck is that number again? I can't remember it. It's 520-214-2219. That's 520-214-2219. I love it. I'm going to text it right now. 520-214-2219. All right. I'll see you later, Mr. Jason. Bye, Mr. Craig. Wait, do they even listen to this on the radio anymore? (laughs) (laughs) I love it. I love it. Nice. Uh,